4.53 to go in this game, and we are still having trouble getting the correct number of players in the game. Attention, Dooley and staff. 11 on offense, 11 on defense, every fucking play. You got two timeouts, and you're going to let the fucking clock run down. Are you kidding me? What's that all about? Okay, here you are. You're on the eve of your first, what could possibly be your first SEC win. And you have the ball on the 40-yard line, and you've got Justin Hunter and Cordero Patterson and Tyler Bray. Throw the ball downfield. Pussy! Yeah, well, I don't understand it because right. remember what I told you at the end of the first half. They had 40 seconds at the end of that first half, and they're again running it out with two timeouts left in the ball game. It's just... You scratch right. your head and wonder what's going on. But I give Mizzou a lot of credit. The Tigers... Uh, no, you don't, Andre. You don't half. scratch your head Rally anymore. You don't scratch your head. As well. mind, we got a bitch for a coach. Well, here we go. About to set another record under the Derek Dooley era. As soon as Missouri makes this field goal to beat us. There it is. Congratulations, Derek Dooley. You've set another record at Tennessee. 0-6 in the conference for the first time ever. Way to go, buddy. One of the arguments that a lot of people make on the big three, Bray, Hunter, and CP coming back next year, is whether or not the coaches are back. You hear a lot of people say, well, if Tennessee changes coaches, no way they're co they'll come back. If I was Tyler Bray, Justin Hunter, or Cordero Patterson, the only way I would come back would be with a new coaching staff. I don't get it. I should get it by now. I should understand some of the stupidity that goes on. But I don't. I just don't get it. Why, with two timeouts and 40 seconds at your own 40 at the end of regulation, you're not trying to get a fucking field goal attempt out of that is beyond me. You laid down, Derek Dooley. You let the clock run out and played for overtime. And what happened? You got beat. You got beat again. Let's face it, folks. This will be the last word you ever hear from me on the Derek Dooley coaching situation. There is nothing that will ever change my mind. I don't care if he gets brought back next year and they win every game from now to the end of next season. He is not the guy. Somebody give me a reason to change my mind. See, these guys can't even manage a manhandling. They were manhandling Missouri. This game should have been over at halftime. Should have been over at halftime. But no. I could sit here and talk for hours about this football game, about this season, about this coaching staff, but I'm not going to. The shitty part about this whole debacle today is the fact that I can't even enjoy Alabama getting the shit beat out of them right now in the first quarter by Johnny Football and company. But you know what? That doesn't even matter. If Alabama loses 100 to nothing today, it's not going to make me feel an ounce better about this season, about this team. I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is the first time in my life as a Tennessee football fan that I cannot wait until this is over. It is so painful to watch that I just want it to be over. You know, the suck part about all this is we'll have to listen to the same old bullshit from Derek Dooley in the post-game press conference. We didn't execute in the second half. Blah, 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 blah. Take some ownership, big boy. One forty-eight, Bob Kessing in the Tennessee locker room with Tennessee head coach Derek Dooley. Coach, we've had a lot of tough ones this year. This one might hurt the most. Yeah, we got a 
a real hurt locker room right now, and, uh, you know, it's a hard one to swallow. Uh, our kids really came out and played their tails off, uh, and, you know, we just didn't execute, you know, we just didn't execute, you know, we just didn't execute, didn't execute, 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 you know, we just didn't execute the plays down the stretch.